Welcome to lecture 17 of financial risk management. We are going to start the topic of option strategies in this lecture. So moving on to the contents. So previously we, we saw how to find the intrinsic value of a forward or a future contract, right? So similarly, we do have options and we need to find the intrinsic value of these options. So our basic objective is to understand how to find the intrinsic value of options. But to understand that, we need first to develop our understanding of option strategies. So there are different option strategies, uh, there are tons of them. Uh, we are not going to cover, uh, cover all of them, uh, just few of them, probably five or six strategies. Um, and once we have understood those strategies, then based on those strategies, using those strategies as the foundation, we are going to develop our concept of finding the intrinsic value of the option. So first strategy that we are going to cover in this lecture is going to be covered uh, call strategy and once we have understood this cover call strategy, then the other strategy would, wouldn't be much uh, difficult to understand. Okay, so, so there are few, uh, few of these strategies. So we have covered call, we have protective put, we have fiduciary call, bull spread, bear spread, butterfly spread, straddle, strangle, we have, uh, we have call so as you can see, there are multiple strategies. I have just listed them and uh, this list is not exhaustive. So there are others as well. We are not going to cover even these strategies. We are just going to cover covered call, protective put, uh, fiduciary call, straddle, strangle, and we will see uh, we might cover uh, bull spread and bear spread. So around five or six of strategies that we are going to cover in this uh, in this chapter. So first thing, what a strategy is, uh, what we do is we combine different uh, different positions to form a strategy. Now alone those positions would give us different uh, pattern of profit or loss, but when they are combined, their pattern of profit and loss is also changed. You would say in, uh, in this example, so first we are going to cover the strategy of covered call and what is covered call? When an investor uh, buys or owns a stock, so either you buy a stock or you already have a stock and you also take a short position, you write a call that means taking a short call or short position in the call option. You also take a short position in the call option, then combining these two, that is buying the stock and taking the short position in the call option is called covered call. Now one detail that you need to remember that when you take the short position, the, uh, the option in equivalent amount as you, you own this stock. Uh, so when you do this, you earn an extra premium income without taking any additional risk. So remember when you, uh, you enter into a short call position, uh, what you uh, do is you receive a premium, right? Okay. Now, when would you uh, you enter into this strategy? When you think that the market is mildly bullish, bullish, and what do we mean by bullish? You you think that the uh, you predict that the market would uh, would increase. It is in its upward trend, but uh, it is mildly bullish. So uh, when this is the situation, when this is your idea of the market, when you think that the market would increase but uh, the slope is not higher or it would increase gradually, then what, uh, although you own the stock but you know that because the market would increase slowly, you would earn lesser amount on this, uh, this, this stock or asset that you already own. So what you want to do is you want to earn some extra earning and how do you do is you, because you know that the market would go up, so there is no harm in taking a short call. And short call, remember, you want to sell the, the asset at certain price. 
and by doing so what you do is you earn an extra uh, premium okay if you remember if you own the asset just owning the asset how would the graph look like it would be upward trending or a positive graph this is your profit or loss or just profit and this is the uh, future spot price so as the future spot price increases the chances of earning profit also increases and what about the uh, short call in short call remember from our discussion on call options you have a a maximum profit limit which is the premium that you have earned and as the st increases your profit would decrease so when you combine these two aspects you own the stock and you also take a short position what you do is you create a covered call strategy and now you have a ceiling on your profit right but uh, think of it is in this way as the st increases your profit would increase right but to a maximum limit as st would decrease your uh, you wouldn't be affected in this area but after this area your profit would decrease this would become clear from the example that we are going to discuss next this is a tricky concept so how do you find the maximum uh, profit of this covered call strategy the formula is strike price minus the stock purchase price plus the premium that you have received how do you find the maximum loss that you can uh, you can have from this covered call strategy it is stock purchase price minus the premium received and what is the break even point it is the stock purchase price minus the premium received so at this price this break even means uh, although the formula is uh, similar but this break even means when st reaches at this break even level then uh, your profit and loss would be you, you wouldn't have any profit or loss so this these concepts would be covered uh, would be understandable in a better way uh, through this example let's say our spot price is 120 the strike price is 150 premium is 20 and we need to find the maximum profit maximum loss break even for the covered call strategy and when we and then we need to find profit and loss if the future spot price is either 0 60 90 170 and 270 <laughs> so first we are going to cover this aspect and then we would come to maximum loss maximum profit and the break even of covered call strategy so now you need to focus on this uh, example uh, to be better able to understand it so when we say a profit and loss from covered call strategy we know we have two parts one we own the stock so then there would be profit or loss from the ownership of that that stock and then we have a short call position there would be premium from that short call position so we need to total that because we are combining this uh, these two to different uh, positions so what if the future spot price is zero remember from uh, previous uh, slide we are going to calculate the future uh, we are going to calculate the profit and loss of this covered call strategy <laughs> if the future spot price is 0 or it is 60 or it is 90 170 or 270 so this way we are we will be able to understand how this covered call strategy would be beneficial and uh, what would be the maximum profit and maximum loss okay so what if this future spot price is zero this is our first scenario remember when future spot price is zero we own the stock at what price did we bought it we bought it at 120 uh, the spot price is 120 today's spot price is 120 and assume that after uh, on the time of maturity or after let's say 3 months or 1 year the future spot price is zero so that means uh, 
this is our selling price, right? Forget this uh, short position for a minute. This is our selling price. So selling price minus buying price would be our profit or loss. So we, we bought it, uh, we, we sold it at uh, zero value. We bought it at 120. So our loss from uh, this owning of this share is minus 120. What about the premium? We will receive uh, 20 rupees of premium irrespective uh, whether this option is excised or not. And from the previous slide you would remember that K which is strike price it was 150. So that means you promised that you would sell this asset at 150 to party uh, to the another party. But at the time of maturity, the price in the market is zero. So no one would exercise this option. They wouldn't buy it from you. They would rather, um, in this case, not buy it at all. So in this case, what would be the combined profit or loss of this strategy? It would be minus 100. That is minus 120 plus 20. So we would have minus 100. So what if uh, the future price, uh, spot price is 60? <clears throat> that means we sell this stock at 60 because that is the market price. Uh, we bought it at 120. So for uh, so we have a loss of minus uh, 60. Again, we would receive a premium that uh, that is for sure. So our total loss is minus 40. What if the future spot price is 90? So we are going to sell it in the market at 90 rupees. This is our selling price. This is buying price. From ownership of this stock, we have a loss of $30 and we get a premium that is we, 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 in any case we would get the premium. <clears throat> so our loss is minus 10. Now what if this future spot price is 170? Now you would say that we would sell it at 170. We bought it at 120. So our profit would be <coughs> what uh, plus 50 right but that is uh, that isn't uh, right you can you are going to sell it at 150 now you would say where is this 150 coming from you should remember that you are in a short call position to sell the same asset <coughs> you agreed to sell it at 150 so at below price say when the price was 90 we use the price, uh, we use the future spot price, right? And that was because, uh, think of it, uh, if if the market price is 90 and uh, Mr. A agreed with you to buy it at 150 and Mr. A have the option, would he buy it from you at uh, 150 or would he buy it from, from the open market? Obviously, he would buy it from open market. So, this option would not be exercised. But what if the market price is 170? <coughs> And Mr. A agreed with you that he would buy it uh, at 150 and he have the option, uh, the choice to exercise or not exercise this option. So instead of buying from the market at 170, he is going to exercise this option. He is going to buy it at 150. So, so, so you are going to sell this asset at 150 irrespective of whatever uh, the market price is. If the party A uh, the long long call position holder uh, is going to exercise the option then you you would have to oblige it okay again our buying price was 120 so our profit from this uh, ownership of the stock is plus 30 we get the premium in any way our profit is uh, plus 55 what if the market price was 270 again uh, this uh, option would be exercised the person would buy it from us at 150. So our selling price would be 150. We bought it at 120. Our profit is 30. So now you get the idea. No matter what the future spot price is, the maximum profit that we can get is $50. And we would go back to the formula of maximum profit in a while and we would see whether uh, this calculation is uh, right or wrong. The maximum loss, obviously the price cannot go in negative. Yeah. 
This is the maximum loss. So the maximum loss that we would have is minus 100. <laughs> and somewhere at this point between 90 and 170, see we had a loss at uh, of minus 10 at this position and we had a profit of plus 50 at this position. So somewhere here between 90 and 170, say at 162, right? we would have a break even point. So that would mean that at 160 price, our profit or loss from this strategy would be zero. So, so you get the idea of this strategy. Uh, let me go back to the maximum uh, profit loss formulas. So this, this was our formula for maximum gain. The strike price was 150. <clears throat> the stock purchase price was 120. And the premium was 20. So if you calculate it, you get the answer of plus 50. This is what we found, right? So you can uh, directly calculate the maximum gain of this covered call strategy using this formula. The maximum loss can be calculated using stock purchase price, which was 120 minus the premium, which was 20 that would be minus 100. So you saw when the price was zero, future spot price was zero, the uh, maximum loss we had was minus 100. You can calculate directly that maximum loss from here. Again, break even uh, would again be similar. It would be uh, minus 100. That 160 was just a hypothetical example. I didn't find that what 160 was the right answer. So the right answer is minus 100. So what this minus uh, 100 means, we would ignore this minus sign. Uh, this is, is it minus, this is plus. So what this plus uh, 100 means, this uh, plus 100 means that when future spot price is 100, then we would neither have a profit nor have a loss from this covered call strategy. So you get this idea. So instead of using that manual method of calculating the profit and loss of covered call strategy, it, the manual way is better to understand the concept, the, the mechanism behind the strategy. But you have seen it is a cumbersome method to, of calculations, right? Uh, what we have done is to, for the sake of easiness, we have made a formula to find the profit and loss of covered call strategy. The formula is ST minus S0 minus maximum of 0 comma ST minus K, this K is strike price plus the premium. So ST is future spot price, we know we have been using these notations throughout this uh, course. S0 is uh, spot price of the asset, K is the delivery strike price or the excise price. Okay, so uh, let's re, uh, recalculate those same, uh, that same question using this formula instead of manual uh, method. So if the future spot price is zero, the formula, we plug the values into the formula, ST is zero minus 120 minus maximum of zero comma zero, because ST is zero minus 150 plus the premium. So uh, zero minus 150 would be minus 150 and zero minus 120 would be minus 120. So maximum of, what is the maximum value uh, within this bracket, 0 or 150, minus 150? Obviously, 0 is the maximum value, uh, minus is lesser than 0. So uh, whatever the maximum value is, this maximum sign uh, means that we need to write the maximum value. So the maximum value is 0, minus, uh, so minus 120 minus 0 plus, one, plus 20, we get the answer of minus 100. <clears throat> this answer exactly same as we saw uh, in the manual method. I am going to use one or two more uh, values. <clears throat> 60 minus 120 maximum of 60 minus 150. So 60 minus 150 is minus 90. What is the maximum value? 0 or minus uh, 90? Obviously it is 0. So minus 60 minus 0 plus 20 would give us minus 40. 
This is what we found in the previous slide. Okay. Uh, the last one I am going to use 170, the rest of the uh, values you can do it yourself. 170 minus 120, it would give us plus 50. <laughs> and 170 minus 150 would give us 20. So, maximum of 0 or one uh, zero or plus 20, obviously maximum is plus 20. So, the minus sign would come as it is. <coughs> the answer would be uh, plus 50. Uh, this is the same answer that we found using the manual method. Okay, uh, let's have another example. Uh, nice work as trader at Mil New Millium Securities. So, Nice is a person in, an analyst who works at uh, New Millium Security. He wrote 100 call options. Ignore this 100 call options. It just means that whatever profit, say you get a profit of 50. So, you need to multiply it. Uh, this is a one unit profit. So, there are 100 units. Anyhow, ignore for the sake of simplicity this 100. Option on Goldman Sachs uh, stock, when the price was 150 per share, he received a premium of $10 per option. So, this, this is the spot price, this is premium, the excise price uh, is 160, this is K. What is profit and loss if uh, the future spot price is 220, 180, 160, 130 or 0? So, you have to find the individual uh, uh, profit and loss at each different futures profit price. The previous formula that we just uh, discussed, you can use that formula. So, we are not going to solve this. Uh, you can solve it yourself. So, <clears throat> let me recap what we, we just discussed. We, we, we saw that, that there are different strategies that we can use. Uh, uh, in different scenarios, one strategy that we are going to understand is covered call, that we understood is covered call. <clears throat> and what is covered call? When we own a stock or we buy a stock and at the same time we enter into a short call position. So, we combine these two positions, buying the stock and short call position uh, for our advantage. We do this when the market is, uh, when we think that the market would go up, but it would go up slightly or gradually. Then we saw how do we find the maximum gain, maximum loss or break even of this covered call strategy. We are going to use this. We, we can use these formulas to find the maximum profit, loss or break even of covered call strategy. Then we solved this example using two methods. First one was the manual method where we argued how uh, things would go. That manual method is just to make you understand uh, the mechanism behind this strategy. Uh, it is not necessary that uh, or required that you use exactly that manual method. You can use the shortcut formula that I have shared with you. And this is that short, uh, that, that formula that you can use uh, instead of the manual method to find the profit or loss of the covered call strategy. All the logic of this covered call strategy is embedded in this formula already, right? 